Hello and welcome to the MBS Show, episode number 396. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. And, well, we got news this week. A lot, quite. Like, surprisingly, we got a lot. Let's not dilly dally and let's hop right into it. So, first news is, well, a neat new giant pony display in Jakarta, Indonesia. So, uh, it seems that a certain mall by the name of uh, Imperium Plu It, I'm guessing how you that's how you say it, um, has pony display over there. Um, there's going to be a pony dance show, uh, Crystal Go Performers, my little pony costume competition. Ooh, that's going to be fun. So here's how it looks. And in all honesty, the ponies here, uh, I don't think they're using the same one that we seen in Hong Kong, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, the one that was recently uh, shown. I think that was a few weeks back. I don't think it's the same one. Like, they commissioned this one, I think. Because this looks different. So, anywho, uh, this is how it's displayed. It's pretty cool. A um, lot of good photo-taking opportunities. And, yeah, there's going to be a dance show, My Little Pony. Um, it's passed, but it's going to be one on the 29th. Sorry, uh, 22nd? 25th? 28th? 29th? And January 1st. And also at January 4th. For January, that's yeah, so, so yeah, there's also going to be sent up a core, some uh, local celebrities that I got no idea, and more ponies. Oh my god, that flutter shy. Oh no. Yeah, let's just say that they're entertaining. Yay! There's, there's the show, and yeah, this is they're going with the this one. I I, I got no idea what you're going to call them. Yes, so that's going to be fun. And it's also up on their Instagram page. Uh, there's stuff. And the pony thing seems to be the biggest attraction there. So that's cool. And if you're in Jakarta, Indonesia, why don't you just take some pics and share them online? Or the show, whatever it is. It'll be fun. Anyway, moving on to the second news. <coughs> My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Season 8 DVD. So... <coughs> This is going to be something interesting. I, I'm just going to read what Sophista wrote here. While Shop Factory has been pretty mum about completing their seasonal DVD collection for Friendship is Magic, a Malaysian company named Myth Entertainment has apparently decided to keep the trend alive with the 8th DVD listing over on a general movie store. Price are in real, m- Malaysian ringgit, but it is... but. It is apparently in stock now. Find it over here. So, um, yes. 26 ringgit and 90 cents. Let's just say it's 27 bucks. I'm going to my converter here to convert it for you guys because I'm awesome that way. So, give me a second. Hey, folks. So, it's what? 27? 27 bucks equivalent to... Let's just say seven dollars. Yes. So the entire DVD track is going to be seven dollars. What? And here's the thing about uh, DVDs in Malaysia. Even though they may be quote unquote official or original, but in all honesty, it it may not be. But it's cool that it's. Coming from Malaysia. So, yeah. We, we got no idea if this is a Hasbro sanction or not. But we can tell here that, okay, um, there's going to be two subtitles, English and Chinese. Uh, the sound is going to be in English. So, that means there's no alternative tracks like Spanish or, um, what is it, the popular ones. Um German or something like that. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, and then there's two DVDs and their DVD 9 format and uh, NTSC region on a 4x3 scale. Uh. And you know what? I got no idea. I am not going to buy this just because I have a strong feeling that it's not official and they're using Comic Sans here. Mm. Yep. 
you know what? Uh, I, I I got no, yeah. So you know what? If you are, <laughs> if you do collect them, uh, awesome because this is a way for you to get them. But if you're not interested or don't see the value in it, there's always uh, official sites. I think what uh, iTunes has it, um, Amazon. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I I do know that iTunes has the ponies. Netflix or do they move? I don't remember. But yep, pony DVDs and we supply them. Hmm. All right. Moving on to the next news after DVDs. There's going to be comic books. Yay. So, special edition season 10, My Little Pony book for free on comic book. Oh, wait. <laughs> for free comic book, they announced. Yay. So, this is the program that the comic book industry does once a year where they um, promote comic books to new readers who wants to get into the genre or get into the hobby let's say uh, with this one it is a smart idea because free comic book day for new readers of the show is awesome because the idea is if you are a watcher of the TV series obviously if you don't read the comic books like how I and Silver and the rest of the crew do uh, you got no idea that there's a comic book probably you'll hear winds of it and whatnot but uh, the way that they're doing this now is okay um, season 9 has ended but don't fret season 10 is in comic book form so how to get people interested is well uh, why don't you try out this free promotion on free comic book day give it a read and check it out and this is a smart idea this is a really smart idea for newcomers to the series or the genre. So, a new era of My Little Pony begins. Join Twilight Sparkle as she attempts to raise the sun in her first act as the new Princess of Equestria in a new tale written by Jer Jer Jeremy Whitley and artist Tatrish uh, For For Forster. Sorry. Um, for people who got no idea who Trish is, she's the artist on Deviant Art called Pixel Kitties. She is the same artist that does a lot of the art for BronyCon. So yay, much awesomeness. Um, other than that, I got no idea when free comic book day. Yeah, but this is fun. This is fun. This is really smart. This is a really smart plan. And well, let's move on to the last, well, second last bit of news. Comic books. Yay, My Little Pony Equestria Girl Cantalot High. March Radness. So this is another comic book um set to release in March of two March eighteen of twenty twenty. Um this one the story is Sprung has Spring has sprung and your favorite Equestria Girls are back with three brand new adventures celebrating March Radness with the Spring Athletic event, a visit by the famous A. Kierling herself. Uh, and detention return to Cantalot High where mischief, mischief, fun and friendship collide the comic book is going to be 48 pages and at $6 and yeah that seems good, that seems fun um, I'm, I, I, I saw the art here and it's pretty interesting uh, what can I say other than, let's see um, mm, I, I got no idea but let's just see this one. Oh no, that thing is the art here is awesome. I got no idea who drew this one. Uh, do they? Yeah, okay. Um, so artists are going to be uh, Danny DJ. Oh wow, that's a name I can't pronounce. Tony Pencil Cusis Cusisto Christina Rice. That's a writer. Tony. Uh, Kosisko again, artist and cover variant A. Cover variant A, is this this one? No, this cover variant RI. Huh. And oh, he also did RI. Hmm. Okay. 
What is up with Rarity's lips? No comment, but it looks good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I like Sunset. Sunset looks good. Yay. But yeah, th this this here is a bunch of really good artists. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to read it if I, I'm able to. I am able to. I'm going to read this. I'm going to review it too. And another Equestria Girl special? We haven't had any Equestria Girl special, if I remember right. There's a few. The comic books for Equestria Girls are not many. But I'm excited for it. I'm excited for it. And with that, we head on to the last news. And that is, West Edmonton Mall is revamping its Galaxy Land theme park to a Hasbro theme. Yay! So, I got no idea. I haven't been to the West Edmonton Mall. Where is that anyway? I know it's in America, I guess. But let's see what Steph wrote here. Uh, the Miss Marin Park at West Edmonton Mall will be taking a brand new team after 24 years of rocking a Space One. Uh, Hasbro is taking over the future, bringing on redesign for a whopping 25 rides covering all their major brands, including ponies. The conversation starts. Conversion, sorry, the conversion starts this month with an expected completion date of late 2020. Okay, so mm, okay. Um, I I got no idea what this all means, but uh, for me, we're gonna have a Hasbro theme park. So yay! Um, gonna have like some kind of uh pony, My Little Pony merry-go-round, which makes sense because ponies, um, probably. The Ferris wheel is going to be Play-Doh, Monopoly. But the Monopoly guy could make the streets and whatnot. So that'll be cool. I got no idea. I haven't been there before. But to you guys in the comments, sorry, to, to, to the audience, comment below if you've been there and tell me your experience. I, I do want to know because I haven't been to a lot of theme parks, so I don't have a general idea of what is going to happen or what's on and whatnot. I mean, in all honesty, I got no idea. So do let me know and uh, just share your experience with us. And with that, that's the news for this week. So, oof, that's bright. Anyway, so this week, um, let's move on to the next topic. What have I been doing with my week? Um, nothing much really. Uh, my week has been pretty slow. I haven't been doing much really um, besides the watching of the movies. Oh yeah, I watched Jumanji and I watched Star Wars, yes. Uh, boy, in all honesty, if you were to ask me which one should you watch, Jumanji, but if you've been watching Star Trek, sorry Star Wars, and do you want to finish the story, go watch it. Preferably on a discounted movie day. For us, here is an on a Wednesday. Um, would I say that Star Wars Rise of the Star Skywalker is bad? Nah, it's not. It's a lot of action. It's a lot of entertainment there. But it's... Uh, how How do I describe it without spoilers? Let's just say that it's entertaining and you should give it a shot just to complete the series. If you're not a fan and haven't really watched the first two, you're going to be confused. So, yeah, probably just watch it on Netflix or something like that or Disney Plus, yes, when it's out. So, that's a good place to check it out there too. On to Jumanji. Jumanji was a fun movie which I highly recommend go watch going to watch um, the actors like Dwayne and Kevin Hart did a really awesome job portraying the role of Danny Glover and Danny DeVito playing the character I mean it's quite fun just to see how The Rock plays Danny DeVito playing the grandpa and Kevin Hart doing the same thing it's really interesting it's really interesting so, 
I say go watch it if you have the time. And hmm, I just realized something. When this episode comes out, it's going to be Christmas Eve. So, ooh, is it going to be Christmas Eve? Now, 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 now I'm really thinking because sometimes my schedule is offbeat. Yeah, more or less, more or less. So, anywho, um, that's that's what I've been doing with my week. So, um, let's go on to well, I I don't usually do updates for stuff, but since it's Christmas Eve, I'll just let you guys in on a few things. Um, this week we are going to record the review and discussion podcast. Uh, on the plate is going to be a review of um, what was it again? The Twilight and Pinky one, Trivial Pursuit, was it? Huh, I don't remember. It's Trivial something. Let me double check. Season na, 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 na. Tri- a Trivial Problem. Yes, that's the episode title. Yeah, okay, we're going to review a Trivial Problem. And also, we are going to do something for Christmas. We are going to review the 2019 Christmas comic. Yes, um, I think we've been doing this for a while now. So, yay! Christmas comics are abound. Yay! And for the Christmas comic, I am going to release that onto the Patreon and YouTube on the same day. With the caveat, Patreon is going to get a raw edit of the podcast. So, that's the exclusive for them. If you want to listen to that, go join the Patreon. Uh, we, You can support us as low as a dollar so that's awesomeness and yeah we 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 do when we go wrong it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun you'll hear things that all of us won't say on a regular show yes (laughs) so that's besides the point and i hope you guys well enjoy uh christmas is going to be lit as the guys or girls say i i got no idea Yes. So, but anywho, uh, let's see. <coughs> if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can uh, email. You can contact us at emissionsgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitter. The show's Twitter account is at MBS Show. And my personal Twitter account is at Roman Sanzo. And also, please subscribe to us on iTunes. YouTube, don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And also, Stitcher Radio. And also, like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PlayLive.com. Links are in the show notes. If you would like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com slash MBS show. With every support, you get a week's early access to review and discussion podcasts, uh, exclusive and deleted content, and a huge thank you from me. Talking about thank yous, I would like to thank Amy, Lucky Knight, Myself Like, Tristan, and also Jeffrey. Thank you so much, guys. You are great. So anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo, and I'll guys catch you next week. I hope you guys enjoy your Christmas Eve, and I hope you uh, enjoy a great Christmas. And well, I'm signing off. See ya.